Hey everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith, and today I have a brand new process video for you. Today I'll be journaling in the new Wonder of Christmas 25 Days of Advent Journaling for Girls. But it's not just for girls. As you'll see, I'm going to work in this, and it's also a great advent journal for any little kiddo. So let me just do a quick flip through. There's a prompt for each day, a creative spark, plenty of space for journaling and just interacting with these wonderful devotionals that Shauna Noel has written. So I'm going to be working on day 16, A Mother's Heart, and we'll, I'll read through a bit of this later on in the video. But once you read the verses and the devotional, then there is a creative spark prompt which follows. So here we're prompted to write your favorite passages from the Bible in the space below and then create art today as you meditate on your favorite passages and what they mean to you. So that's just what I'm going to do today. From the print and pray shop I've pulled a few things to help with my spread in here including these wonder journal spots that were designed by Shauna Noel and you can see that the artwork coordinates very well with the artwork in the book so that'll be fun to use. I also have some pieces from the Come and Carol devotional kit that I might use and then this really fun print and pray set from Mandy Ford. So I'm thinking I might use some snowflakes or something from this set behind all of my journaling and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So day 16 is called A Mother's Heart, and Shauna points us to Luke 2.19, which says, But Mary kept all these things like a secret treasure in her heart. She thought about them over and over. Um, Shauna goes on to say, Mary thought about Jesus' birth over and over. She was meditating on the event. Meditating isn't sitting alone in a dark room. It means that you concentrate on something, an event, a question, something you heard, and work to understand it. Christians are told to meditate on scripture to fill their heads with his words. And then she gives a couple of really great practical suggestions for um, helping to understand scripture. So on the following page where I'm writing here, it says, write your favorite passage from the Bible in the space below. I had just done my favorite passage last week from Colossians, and I didn't want to repeat that for you guys. So I'm choosing a different verse here in John 10, which is something Jesus said. And so I just wanted to note that here in a fun and colorful way. I'm using some print and pray alphas in different colors and sizes just to keep it fun. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out some of the snowflakes from Mandy's set. Next I'll go ahead and look through these journaling cards and see which one I think will fit best. I'm going to include a prayer here. On this page, Shauna says, create art today as you meditate on your favorite passages and what they mean to you. So I'm going to go ahead and you know, put a bunch of these different come and carol pieces and the print and pray pieces down on the page and then top it all off with a prayer that's written on this card that says yes and amen. I'm going to use a journaling card from the Illustrated Faith Shop and then a little gift die cut from the come and carol kit and layer those um, on top of and underneath this journaling card. And then I'll use my tiny attacher to make sure it's secure. You'll see that there's another little box on the bottom right that says scripture and I just put kind of like a coordinating passage that goes along with the verse I wrote down on the left side of the page. Spanner flag is one of my favorite pieces from the Come and Carol kit. I love all of the colors. It's so fun. So I went ahead to put and put that on the bottom. And then I have these snowflakes printed on clear sticker paper and I'm just going to have them kind of like cascading down the page and I'll even bring them over to the left side. So a couple of them I'm going to let hang off the edge of the page like this blue one at the bottom. And for that I just leave the sticker release paper on the back so that when I cut it it'll be easy to transfer it over to the other side. This red one I wanted to get down in the binding and and kind of connect the spread in the middle. So I used, I think, a stencil to help push it down into the binding. Next, I'm going to go ahead and flip the page over and then trim off the pieces that are hanging off the edge. And you can see there, I have like half of the snowflake left that I'll put on the other side. So I'm keeping it pretty simple like there's not too terribly much going on here I think this it for sure took me under 30 minutes I have less than 30 minutes of footage and that includes me chatting at the beginning so 
maybe t no more than 20 minutes to do this entirely. Next, I thought it would be interesting to use these snowflake stamps from this Beloved Society stamp set. So I have a bunch of different inks that will coordinate with the printables and other supplies that I used. And I'm going to um, first swatch the inks here to make sure that they're a good match. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and stamp these around the page. They're smaller so I can fit them in some other places like here um, where I wrote my Bible verse. And I just think it is just a little interesting to add a different style of snowflake. And I want to be sure to make sure that the left goes with the my page on the right, so I'm taking the snowflakes over there too. So it's really fun just to bring a similar element in a different size, in a different medium. I'm going a bit out of order here, but to punctuate my journaling in this verse on the bottom, I have an older Advent stamp that I'm using, and it just says Amen. Um, I'm just going to stamp that down on the bottom. And I love the washi tape from the Come and Carol kit, so I'm going to put this in a few places on my spread also. I have a, like a typed word that says Jesus, and I'm just writing a little note of thanks here. So I used that sticker to kind of like start off my journaling, which I'll do in a moment. Again, adding some more elements from the Come and Carol kits layered behind this journal card. And I love how colorful it is. I'm going to use these asterisks from the Felicity Jane sticker sheet that came in the Come and Carol kit just as like another element, <laughs> almost like another snowflake element to the page. And then I'll go ahead and write my little prayer here. I had one more snowflake left, so I added a teeny tiny bit of it over to the left side of the page. And then one last thing that I'll do is use a date stamp. So this is the Studio Calico Mega Date Stamp. I'm using some Stays On Jet Black ink to stamp my date up in the top left corner, and that is going to do it. So here's a finished look at my page. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in picking up any of the supplies I've used, including the Wonder of Christmas Advent Journaling book, I've got that linked down in the video description below. I hope you guys have a great, merry rest of your week, and I'll see you soon.